new coral to the show and I absolutely love it. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week. Um, so yeah, I've got a new coral. It's a bit of a different one and uh, I want to show it to you. So let's have a look. So as you can see, I've got the whites on today. Um, so obviously none of the corals are going to be popping, but um, I've done it a few months ago or, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, you can just see how it looks uh, with the whites. And I never have it on this setting. It's purely for the video. But this is what I got. Look at that. I think it's called a purple fringe gorgonian. I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Now, I believe, I think it's an NPS coral, or an, I don't know if it's a photosynthetic or non photosynthetic coral. He did tell me, but um, I've, uh, I've forgotten already. Um, but yeah, it's got loads of little tiny polyps on it, and um, it was, it's really. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to get some more of them. They're really good for, uh, value for money as well. Um, and yeah, I just think they look great. Um, I mean, just look at that. It doesn't actually even look real, does it? I mean, look. I absolutely love that. And it's uh, it's one of my new favourite corals. So I'm going to get... They, they, they do them in all sorts of colours as well. I mean, look at that purple. You won't see that purple anywhere. Um, and it really looks good under the blues as well. But I've got it on the whites today. Uh, just so I can show you, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it looks fantastic. Now, it's funny, something about them, you cannot expose them to air. So when you usually buy like a coral, it comes with like some water, then they fill it up with the air, then you can float it in. This was literally filled up with water, so it weighed, it was really heavy. Um, and you can't drip acclimate, you can't drip, you, you can't, uh, sorry, not drip, drip, well, you can't drip acclimate them, but also you can't um, dip them or nothing, so they cannot be exposed to, to air for some reason. So it was quite awkward to get it in, you know, in, in out of the box into the out of the the bag into the into the tank but um yeah i just think it looks fantastic so if you're looking for something a bit different um i think this is it you know um i don't know how I, i've been told they're very easy to look after they just live off like you know you know the food that's in the water column and um but yeah, let me know your thoughts on it and tell me what you think because I'm going to get. I think I'm going to get some more of these and just scatter them about the tank. Uh, so I have one here, but you've got to be careful. You can't put them near anything like it's got something like this thing here. It's going to sting it. I mean, those stinging tentacles, like I said in a few vids ago, they they come all the way. Um, they come all the way out here, so uh, it's going to be awkward. I think I might only have to put hammers around there. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the tank. Tank's looking right this week, so let's have a little quick brief of it under the whites for a change um uh so yeah we're we'll just do a little scout about everything's uh looking nice obviously the collars aren't gonna pop because we got we've gone for a white day today there's uh i mean he's looking fat that's the uh uh the royal grammar we got the bicolor blenny here he's a funny little character just sits on his little perch in his little cave then we've got the, oh, you might have a good view of the, uh, there we go, there's the uh, the mandarin. Um, let's come back out. And obviously the the star of the show, Houdini. You right, little fella? He's looking under the whites today. You have a good old look at him. Let's see if we can get a little side shot. Are you going to show us? <laughs> and then obviously we've got a beautiful yellow tang. You've seen them loads of times. Very shy for a yellow tang, but I'm trying to fight the camera there. Um, so yeah, so the tank's looking really good. We'll have a look at the parameters in a bit for this week. Uh, but like I say, no colours popping today. Uh, but I just really, it was just to show you this. And I think it looks fantastic. It really does. Let me know your thoughts, like I said. But the Goniaporas are doing well. The green one's starting to come out a bit more. It's taken time, but I'm sure it'll come out in time. Um, he's on the move. He's in the middle now. He was uh, he'd moved in in a bit from the corner. Now he's he's working his way around the tank. So uh, uh, yeah, we're go they're, they're due a feed. I haven't fed refroids in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to do them this week. Um, uh, in fact, today. Um, so. Uh, 
uh, yeah, we'll give it a, give him a good feed today. Uh, but yeah, it was just to show you a little scout of the tank. Really, really looking good. Um, another water change, obviously, it's Sunday. So, um, but yeah, a purple fringe Gorgonian. Um, I think <laughs> I forget the names. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. And, and tell me, tell me in the comments if it's NPS or non NPS. I forget. You know, I was told, but I was too excited. I was just wasn't really listening. Uh, obviously, from Reef Dreams, that one. Uh, so big shout out to Steve, the owner, actually, this time, who was serving me. Um, so, uh, yeah, you don't often get boss man serve you. He's, um, he's usually at the back having a sleep or something. But, yeah, so, uh, so boss man served me today. So thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, really happy. Let's have a look at the parameters and we'll have a chat. Right, that's 14th of March. So let's not look at that one. <laughs> I thought that looked. I thought those nitrates were a bit low for this, for this week. Right, so we got twenty five nitrates, pH eight, phosphate zero point zero eight, salinity thirty four point five, calcium four ninety, alkalinity eight point four. Beautiful like that. Magnesium fourteen hundred. I've changed my row of in the reactor, and I have put a new bag of carbon in, which is why it's all looking very crisp in the water today. So uh, really happy with those parameters. The, the tank's stabilising a bit. We sorted the problem out. Like I said with that torch, I think it was a vermited snail rather than the parameters itself, because everything else... Oh, by the way, in these, they do love a lot of nutrient, a, a very high nutrient tank. So if you've got low nutrients in your tank, don't get one. Mine are very high in the tank, so it should thrive really well in here. But I'm sure we're going to have a video a few months later saying, oh, I've lost this one. But no, on a serious note, I think it's, um, yeah, make sure it's a high nutrient tank. And always get advice from your, you know, your local fish store when you're putting any coral into the tank. You know, I don't pretend to be an expert. I get advice on every single thing I get into this tank. I always ask if it's the right thing, where I should put it, placement, do I need to feed it, how long shall I acc acclimate it for, and get everything about the, you know, the, the, the fish or the coral. So uh, I'm sure you guys know more than I do, so you don't have to... Um, do is that as much but i find um any in newbies always get as much advice from your local fish store um and this is why i always go in there and i don't really tend to buy online for that reason i just like to get the advice and have a chat and uh, i never know what i'm going to get when i go in now i just have a scout about what you know speak to them what do you recommend what's new and this is what they what they showed me I had loads of these acclimating they weren't even on display they were still acclimating and i was uh i was just like yeah i'm gonna have that I've got some more copia pods as well for this little fella. Obviously, you don't often see him under the blues, but you can have a good little look at him today under the... Uh, he's getting really fat. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm just putting so many copia pods in, because he's uh, he's eating them all. But uh, he's lovely. He's one of my favourites. Um, so, yeah, um, let's come back to me. And then, uh, but yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. But let's have a quick chat. Yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I, I'm really, I think it's fantastic, and I'm probably going to get another one next week to go with it somewhere in the tank. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, and let me know if I've made a bad decision. If there's anything I need to worry about about this type of coral, let me know. Um, but yeah, I want to be a say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Follow me on my reefing German uh, reefing journey, um, and as you can tell, we have ups and downs all the time. Um, so yeah, thank you uh, for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like uh, button and uh, bell notification so you are notified when I upload, which is usually every Sunday. Uh, but that's it, you know, for this week. Not much to really else report uh, to, to, to report on the tank. Um, we are stabilising the tank and we're starting to buy some more corals. So uh, tune in next week and we'll see what I got. See ya.